called my agent and I said, listen, I, I have to get out of town for a few days. This is like, very stressful. So my uncle had a cabin in the Smoky Mountains. Okay. And I said, I'm going up. I'm going to drive myself up to the Smokies. Uh, don't call me unless it's good news. I gave her the number. And I drove all night to get up to the cabin. I got up there and about two days in, finally relaxed. I can hear the birds chirping. I'm having my coffee. The phone <laughs> rings. It's my agent. She's like, it's you. They want you. And so then she, we, we, now we talked for an hour about what that entailed. And I was 24. Okay. Had never worked in television before. And I'm like, wait a minute. I just agreed to work six days a week, 14 hours a day for a year. <laughs> That's what I signed up for. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we talked about, you know, obviously it was PBS. It wasn't like network money. Sure. But to a poor boy from East Texas, it was great. Right. And so we talked about all of that stuff, all the contractual obligations and this and that and the other thing for about an hour. And then she goes, baby, I'm so proud of you. I want you to finish your vacation, come home and go to work. And I said, thank you. And I heard her hang up. And then I heard another voice on the line go, they going to pay you to be on a TV show? <laughs> and that was when I realized that my uncle, because he was so far up in the boondocks, yeah. he had a party line. Uh, so it was a phone line that was shared with five other families on the mountain. So every time the phone rang, everybody picked up. And most of the time, it's like, oh, it's not for me. I'll just hang up. Well, this guy stayed on the phone for an hour listening to all of the details about what I was going to do. So we had all these questions. So I spent another 20 minutes on the phone going, well, no, it's uh, yes, it is a television show, but you're not actually going to see me on the television show. It's I'll be doing a, a dog. He goes, well, dogs don't talk. I'm like, I know dogs don't talk, but it is television. <laughs> You should watch some television, and you'll understand that you have to sort of suspend your disbelief. But that was how it all got started for me.